Have you ever gone to a cinema and noticed how much the car chase scene makes the audience massively indulge in the movie? This is because people find the racing of cars very thrilling, wanting them to perform it themselves. To all the young people wanting to pursue car racing, hold your horses because the profession is not very easy to follow. How? You're about to find out. Firstly, what is F1 racing? Can every usual driver drive F1 cars? Everybody loves racing cars, right? If you're standing on a street and a beautiful, speedy car passes by you, it will surely grab your attention at least once. Well, those cars can typically be seen on the streets. However, the Formula One racing cars are unique and can only be seen on tracks prescribed. These cars are super fast, more than any other vehicle, which is why people admire them a lot and most become fans of the racing tournaments. Formula One, or F1, is an international racing sport of the F1 cars. These are single-seated and open-wheel cars, driven by very skillful and professional drivers who had to perform training before getting an issue of the license for the race cars. Every driver is trained to follow a set of rules for the drive, and that's why it got the name Formula. The International Automobile Federation, also known as the FIA, is responsible for carrying out racing contests. The race ends with the winner determined by who crosses the finish line first after completing a specific number of laps. However, it should be noted that to become an F1 driver, the professional should be fit emotionally and physically too. It's not only about sitting in a car and taking a drive. It's to test one's potential to the utmost brain and body capabilities. Up next, what capabilities must the driver have to face the forces against him? And what are those forces? Do you know that you cannot drive a truck on the license on which you drive your car? Why is it? It's because cars are relatively smaller than huge trucks, and their handling is very different from each other. Neither can a truck driver fly a plane on his truck license. The pilots also have their own licenses, and that is what differentiates drivers of different transportation. Transportation. In contrast to that, F1 drivers also have to issue themselves a unique license from the FIA to compete in the races and drive the F1 cars. But what makes F1 cars so different from ordinary cars? As already mentioned, these F1 cars are extremely fast-moving vehicles, and only a trained driver can handle the pressures in the vehicle. Car races should end within two hours, because it's what the law states, as after that amount of time, there is a threat that the driver might lose his balance and get weary, leading to an unfortunate crash. There are specific forces the driver feels while racing in the car. One of them is an increase in gravity at about three times the usual rate. A normal person faces 1g, or 9.8 meters a second of gravitational force. However, it increases to 3g for the race driver. Much research has been done, and it's concluded that constant acceleration and deceleration of the vehicles adding up with the quick turns on the racetrack eats the driver from the inside, draining up his energy. Drivers claim that while racing, they face breathing problems and their eyesight gets affected too, in a bad way. Coming right up, are there any other drawbacks for an F1 driver? If you were interested in cars at some point in your life, you might once have wished to be a car racer, especially if you're a male. It would have seemed fun to you. Colorful cars with extremely beautiful bodies and unique shapes break the records of speed, pitching against one another. In movies nowadays, there are many car chase scenes, which the audience absolutely loves and clap until their hands turn red. However, you might have ignored the fact that the stunts and the race Races are not at all easy, and that we made evident to you by informing you about the enemy of a car driver, nature itself. Gravity cannot be controlled by the driver, and it shows its effects on the race. Furthermore, it is quite surprising that the drawbacks do not stop here. There is another obstacle in the way for the F1 drivers. What is that? Heat, it is. High temperatures can prove deadly to car drivers. The drivers have to wear certain costumes, which have a number of layers that trap heat. The costumes must be worn as they are fireproof. This is for the safety of of the drivers. Also, the car's engine radiates heat as the engine runs at a very high speed. Due to these temperature drawbacks, a driver faces the risk of a loss in concentration due to huge amounts of sweat, making them tired and dull. So, do F1 car drivers need to be fit like any other athlete? When you're driving a normal family car and you hit the brakes or push the accelerator, do you have to put in some extra effort to perform the action? The answer is no. You don't have to give the brake or accelerator pedal a push force of more than a negligible amount, but that is not the same case when you're driving an F1 car. Did you know that F1 cars can accelerate from 0 to 60, and that too in only 2.6 seconds only? Unbelievable! However, the high speeds mean that more brakes would be required to bring the car to a halt, and that is where muscular effort is required. If we talk about stats, in an average 100-minute race, a driver hits the brake approximately 250 times. The force applied by the racer to the pedal is about 135 pounds 
Within a single race, 1,000 turns have to be made with a force of 35 pounds exerted on each turn. When we look at these details as a whole, we can deduce that F1 drivers need to be fit no less than any other athlete. The heartbeat of the racer can exceed as high as 190 beats per minute during a single race. The vibrations from the car at such high speeds also have their disadvantages for the drivers, consuming their energies further. Up next, what abilities should the F1 driver have to bask in the glory and win races? We have discussed the difficulties the F1 driver faces in a normal race. Many of these would be new to most of the car lovers out there too, right? And we have repeated several times that, to face the challenges, a driver must be fit. Now it's time we dig into the details about how an F1 driver needs to be to face all the challenges and stand tall, pumping his name with glory and winning the races. The F1 driver must be physically and emotionally fit and should be alerted of any reflex action they might have to take. The driver must be hydrated all the time, as the race is not a piece of cake, even for professionals. The driver should work to improve their reaction time as well, so that they can save themselves from any stone in their way. 300 milliseconds is what a normal human being takes to react, while the time falls to 100 milliseconds when we talk about an F1 driver. The drivers also should go to gyms regularly, so that they can gain physical strength. Many people skip leg days. However, that is not an option for the car racer, as he needs to train his legs to put force on the brake or accelerator pad. And lastly, are there any incidents to inspire car racers to become even more fit? Many of you might still not believe why car drivers need to be fit for the races. Don't worry, we will not end the video without clarifying all of your issues. We learn from our past. The mistakes we make are a lesson for us in the future. And that's why we will go back into the history of the racing tournament and find out examples where these heat, physical, gravitational, or any other issues caused accidents to the F1 drivers during the races. A Swiss F1 driver named named Clay Regazzoni, had contracts with Ferrari and Williams both. Unfortunately, due to a car crash during the race, the driver was severely injured, causing him to be paralyzed from the waist down. The accident occurred in 1986. In the same tragic year, another F1 racer, Sir Frank Williams, got involved in an accident after which he too was paralyzed from the shoulder down. He even had some spinal injuries, making him sit in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. This is heartbreaking. Lewis Hamilton also faced an accident in Monaco in his Pagani Zonda. However, he was saved from any fatal injuries. However, his car lost its shape. This is all for today. This was all you needed to know about the F1 races and the drivers who drive extraordinarily speedy cars. So, if you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Also, turn on your notifications so that you will never miss out on any exciting and informative video from us and you're aware of what's going on around you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.